Alright, so first thing first though, y'all don't have to tell me. I already know like the video is gloomy as fuck. It's been great all outside all day. It's been great for like the past week, honestly. Like it's just been great out and I got like one window. So I work it with like the best I could right now. So y'all don't even gotta tell me. I know the quality of the video is gonna be trash. On top of that, I'm using my front cam. So it is what it is. Y'all just hit for the nine tilts. But before I get into the nine tilts, background for me is I'm active army. I've been active army. It will be seven years in May. I'm a 25 uniforms. All that shit means is I work with radios. And I told y'all to tell y'all this. I have no computer experience. For those of you out there who have zero knowledge, it's still possible. You still can pass. And with these nine tilts, I guarantee you're gonna pass. All right, so first thing first, I took these nine tilts and I broke them up into three sessions. And those three sessions is work smarter, not harder. Less is more. And when preparation meets opportunity all right so first things up in work smarter not harder category is tip number one and that's going to be you need to know what the test is going to cover you're going to find this out with exam objectives these exam objectives you can find them i don't know if like cisco has them or like the rest of the computer certificates have them and stuff like that but i know comtia has them. all you got to do is go on google type in a uh, comtia exam objectives you don't even have to be specific which with the ones you want because they're still going to take you to like this layout you're going to choose the ones that you want and then it's going to go off to a pdf and on this pdf you can actually print this out i recommend you print this out and now you know exactly what's going to be on the test so you don't have to spend time studying things that the test won't even cover again work smarter not harder all right next up on the work smarter not harder category is tip number two and tip number two is going to be to make a list. If you have a whole bunch of things that relate to one another, you need to make a list. And the reason being, so ports, you're going to probably, Security Plus probably has like, I don't know, probably like 50 ports, 50 ports. Remember, work smarter, not harder. Boom. All right. So finishing off with the last tip and work smarter, not harder, it's going to be Professor Mess. Utilize this man. He's on YouTube. Everybody knows him. I know you guys have heard of him if you think about pursuing anything in the computer world you definitely heard of him professor master so he has a youtube channel you definitely subscribe to his channel one thing i really love about the way that he does it is he breaks it down by sections so you're not sitting watching a two-hour video on chapter two or chapter three like he breaks it down to like 2.1 2.2 so the videos are like five minutes long two minutes long you might get one that's like nine minutes long for the most part but he still like breaks it down he does a great job at breaking it down and it's easier to take notes with him. So definitely check that guy out. Remember, if it's already done, you feel me? Work smarter, not harder. All right, moving on to the second session. Second session is less is more. So tip number four is going to be to get the review guide. This guy right here now. This isn't a Network Plus, because as I'm telling y'all, I'm trying to prevent y'all from making the same mistakes that I made. So this is Network Plus. For Security Plus, I actually bought the whole book. I actually bought the whole book. I'm telling you right now, you need a review guide. The reason why you want the review guide is because, bruh, this is an entry level exam. You don't need the entire book. You don't need to learn that much information. Not only that, but where the review guide gives you like a paragraph of information, like right there, you see? That's just a paragraph of information. The review guide gives you a paragraph of information. This, like the fucking book is gonna give you like pages of information. You don't need to know all that stuff. You need to just scratch the surface. Less is more. Get the review guide. All right, so tip number five in the less is more category is use only the space you're given. I know, y'all thinking like, oh, that, and when I say use only the space you're given, I'm talking about the exam objective I had you print out. Only use that for notes. Do not use a notebook. Do not create anything else. Only use that, and I'm telling y'all, it's gonna be a lifesaver. I didn't find this out to the day before my first exam. Yo, I had, like I told y'all, I didn't have the review guide. I had the entire Security Plus book. I ended up writing another book. That book, like the notes that I took from my Security Plus and I made it, I like typed all my notes in Microsoft, it's just like 97 pages. There's no way I'm gonna study 97 pages in two weeks before the exam. It's just not gonna happen. So then I came up with another concept. I was like, maybe I just, you know, like write notes in like a notebook. But then I have paragraphs of information, still paragraphs of information is too much. There's no way I can study. There's no way I can cram for this amount of information. So then I got smarter. I was like, yo, I'm just going to utilize one line. Just use one line per exam objective. And then I got smarter than that. And I was like, I'm just going to use the exam objective.
Now, if you like, I showed my mom my exam rejector because she's thinking about studying this as well. Um, and she couldn't stand it. I don't know. I guess if you OCD, you can't stand it. Also, I have bad hand right now. I have chicken stretch, but I'm telling y'all it works because now you have to key in on the important information. You have to key in. You, you don't have enough space to write a paragraph of information. You probably got enough space to write like seven words. So now you need to key on what's important. It works, man. Trust me, bro. Less is more. All right. So the last tip in the less is more category is study only what's important. So that exam objective that I told you to print out at the beginning, right? Tip number one, exam objective. It's going to tell you the percentage of like, based off the chapters, what percentage the test will cover. And you're going to see that some chapters are going to have a bigger percentage than others. Like I remember for Security Plus, cryptography had... That was going to be covered and i had to get smart and wise up on this because i was studying everything equally like i was studying everything equally i was putting too much time into cryptography yo you don't need to do that don't study what's not the test is not going to cover that much hey trust me on this one less is more moving on to section number three the last session this is where preparation meets opportunity i know y'all heard that before right preparation meets opportunity practice test tip number seven it's practice tests. You need to take practice tests. And then when you do the practice test, make sure you're doing it by what is gonna be on the test by importance. So the one with the highest percentage, do more practice tests on them versus the ones that have less uh, percentage. Hey man, when preparation meets opportunity. Next tip in the when preparation meets opportunity is going to be tip number eight, and that's going to be cramming. It worked for me because that month that I spent like I told y'all, I study, I spent hours in the library, hours in the library, just trying to take notes from the Security Plus book, like the actual book, the entire book. And I told y'all, I ended up with like 97 pages of notes and I didn't even finish. I stopped at like chapter 25, chapter 26. I wasn't even finished. And there's no way I could read through all those notes and stuff like that. So that's why I tell y'all to use only what you have, which is the exam objective. And this is going to make cramming um, easier because when you're cramming you got everything right there in that little packet like this little packet has everything I need and you're instead of reading paragraphs of information and sentences of information you just read them like seven words that relate to that objective that's all you're reading so find something that works for you figure this shit out until a day before my exam and I woke up three hours before my exam and I crowned. I spent 30 minutes it was six chapters I spent 30 minutes per chapter everything was right there on the sheet so it was easy for me and that's how I cram. So cram, 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 cram. It's gonna help you. Last but not least, when preparation meets opportunity, tip number nine, the last tip, is C's get degrees, man. C's get degrees. I scored a 768 on my exam. The minimum score is a 750. I scored a 768. I still got certified. Now you're probably thinking like, well, why would I take your advice? Yo, because for one, I made the mistake. I told y'all, I really didn't study and I really didn't understand everything before the day before my first exam. Not only that, but I outscored everybody in my class. And I'm talking about, I was in class with like 25 Bravos. Those are people who actually go to school for computers. I outscored all of them. And I'm talking about, I was guys in there who was talking about shit that the instructor didn't even know. Like computer people that like actually played with this stuff. Half of them didn't even make it. All right, so that's pretty much my nine tilts. Um, as far as like a, give you guys like a motivational spell, I'm telling you guys like this, it's hard. It's hard. When I went into the class, prior to going into the class, I was told there was a 50% fail rate. Now, for somebody who has zero computer knowledge, I thought for sure I was going to fail. Um, and then when I get there, they tell me, yo, it's not a 50% pass rate. It's a 30% pass rate. It was 16 of us in that class. They were like, only like four of you are going to even get certified or whatever. So on the day of the exam, before the CompTIA Security Plus exam, his exam to see if the Army will pay for us to take the CompTIA Security Plus exam, out of all 16 of us, only five of us went on to the next level to even take the CompTIA Security Plus exam. Everybody else got dropped from the class. And then out of all five of us, I'm pretty sure only three of us or maybe four of us passed. Do the best, be hungry for it. And if you fail, hey, just go back and do it again. But it's not going to be easy. Trust me, bro. It's not going to be easy. You're going to have to put in work. For sure, for sure. All right, so go ahead and wrap this video up. That's pretty much my nine tips. Yo, first thing I want you guys to do, if you're watching this and you already certified in whatever you're certified in, drop that down in the comments below. Let us know what you're certified in and also um, what you're currently working on right now. Definitely share it. If you learn anything from this video, share it. But most importantly, what I want y'all to do, 
I need testimony. Do that. And if you like legit do it and it works, which it should work, come back and let everybody know. So everybody know, hey, Hop got the juice, man. I'm putting everybody on. But other than that, man, definitely if you found this video at all helpful in any way, thumbs up the video. Um, if you learned something from the video, thumbs up the video. Uh, follow me on Instagram at hop underscore basquiat. Type of person you want to follow if you actually will communicate with me, not just follow me just to fucking subscribe to me and like make me feel better about having subscribers because it's not you. Know, I want a community. I don't want just people who just follow, just out here giving like subscribes to you know any everybody. If I'm the type of person you want to follow, you want to watch, and who you can learn from and also teach, then hey yo, subscribe to my channel. It's your girl Hot Basquiat. Videos every Monday. And yeah, thanks for tuning in. See how much you know. What's the difference between an FBE and an SED? You don't know. <laughs> I don't know either. VPA concentrate. I don't know what VPA concentrate is. <laughs> what is what? What? Why? Why? Why do I know what a correlation is with it? Why is that important? Why does that deal with security?